third exercise. Write a program that marks a spot with X from a list. So the first digit is the horizontal number and the second digit is the vertical number. So we have the input 23. The first digit is the horizontal one. Wait. And the second digit is the vertical number. Three. The first digit is the horizontal one. It means that it's this one, but it's vertical. One, two and column three. Let me make this bigger. Oh man, come on. Yeah, that's better. That is better. Let's paste this. And say here. Three lists. No, three list variables. Lists inside lists. When we have lists inside lists, we basically the we have the answer of the problem as well because most of the time we have to work with that. And here it's actually a really really like obvious way that tells us to enter inside the map two times. Two, 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 two times. Okay, so we have, let's see. First of all, we have three variables, three lists assigned with three variables. After that, we have map, which is a list that lists all the lists. After that, we have the print statement that will look our list like this, shown like a X and zero table or whatever. And we have position, which asks for input, actually for the number, two digit number. Right, so we have to use that two, two digit number for two positions, horizontal and vertical so we know that we have two positions okay okay let me go actually let's see the flow chart and let me bring up this Right, so first we have input. I don't think we need random for this one because it's just input, it's nothing random in it. Meaning that we position equals input two digit number. That two digit number is a string. We have to use it. We have to wait a second, assign 
new variable to position zero position one so the first digit is horizontal new variable horizontal new variable vertical so right we have two positions we use the input we don't have to make an integer from that because we can use the position zero and one from the string Okay, and the position two, if we access the map, how can I change direction of this? After this, let me see. It's still a string. Now here I have to create integer. I have to create here an integer because I need to access it here. In map position right here. So the first one is horizontal. Actually, I need to make here something horizontal equals Let's see, position zero. Let's copy this and make vertical position one. So it says that horizontal will be two and this one will be three. Position verticalos. Map will be vertical minus one. Which will give me the row. And the first one, we have to take it from here. Let's make a variable and say map no i just say um inside map will be equal like this and after that i'll say mark map will be equal with inside underscore map uh, horizontal minus one i think this is all right i think let's let's test it and i have to this one needs to be 
x. Let me think. Oh boy. Let me think. Yeah, this one has to be x. Um, let me see what happens if I say 11. Line 13. And support the operand type as for string and int. Alright, 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 alright. Yes, of course, I forgot to make it dangerous. And I have this note in my flowchart. Uh, print, let me see if I print mark map 11. It's X. Uh, I th wait. Mm, I think this is the. Let me see. Map inside map. Is this right? Let me see. It shows right. So I solved the problem, but I, it feels weird in my head. I understand it, but it feels it's still weird in my head. I need to practice this thing. This is interesting. It's it's something. It's it's sort of like I sort of understand it, even though it's solved. But I sort of don't understand it. It's really interesting. So the <clears throat> this is the entire problem without anything, without the the let's say the result. So let's reevaluate. We have three lists. We just have a list inside the list. We have the print, which is just a simple show, show uh, display of the list. And we have, we asked the position. Now this position will be a two digit number. Actually, let's place the, the comment here. Two digit number. All right. Um, This two-digit number 
we use each digit. The first one will be a horizontal. We'll choose horizontally from the from the list, and the vertic the second in digit will choose vertically. We create two variables variables horizontal and vertical, which will assign the positions of the input from zero to one, which are strings. But we need integers in order to use to enter in the map. We assign inside map the variable inside map, and then we choose from the map the position vertical, which is the second digit minus one because it starts from zero. This we we make another variable where we take the vertical position meaning that inside this we select a list and we enter in the list and we just repeat the process it's horizontal minus one which will equal chemical x because here we have the both both positions. This is, this is why I assign this one with X. And after that, job done. See, if I if I just think about it, it's really, really easy. This is basically with everything that I read about Python and JavaScript and C. Everything is so easy. You just have to practice, 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 practice. That's it. Just to, to remember everything. It's so cool and so easy. Actually, you don't have to, remind, to remember everything or anything. Because look at this. I have notes. These notes are on the internet for free. You can access them anytime. In time, if you practice enough, you will remember everything. So... This is so cool. I don't understand why people say that coding is hard. It's actually really, really, really easy. Really, 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 really easy.